good at morning guys welcome to today's video as soon as I turned on the camera the dog I turned off the camera but the dogs all came running literally Molly was like oh no she's got the camera let's go <laughs> she's like take me with you anyway good at morning today's the second last day of homeschool we've been trying to get all of that done this morning it is getting close to lunchtime Gabby is over here just finishing up Sophie is upstairs feeding her dragon. I need to show you guys her. She's growing. She's doing super well. You guys know that we are in a really busy time right now. We're just getting ready for two shows in a row. Two big shows. Bigger than we've gone to in the past. And I wanted to take just a few seconds to remind you guys. So I just wanted to remind you guys that recently we went and met some new friends that have Johnny. You guys remember Johnny? You guys remember all of our old horses and or all the horses that have been important to us. But anyway, they have they have a YouTube channel. They are just starting out. They are just like us. They are kind, sweet, two girls, same ages, mom and dad. Like their channel. If you want another channel to watch, this is the channel. The channel is called Barn Boots and country roots barn boots and country roots so they just started out they have a lot of video new videos on their channel they have a new facility they just moved to their new barn they built everything they like, put in a new riding arena they they've done it all and they have johnny so if you guys are interested in johnny and where he went and his future their daughter gabby's age showing her very first show this year and we're gonna go we're gonna be there we're gonna show against her like you guys are gonna wanna follow this channel barn boots and country roots all right well where is sophia feeding your dragon one of my favorite still? games risk yeah sam is that boy gabby was trying to learn to play it last i know night, i, I like, want to oh, play it too we're gonna play it i do we're i want to play. play you will we'll get kaylee to play too kaylee tried to find out how to play it but we couldn't yeah it's a hard one even i've never played that game so back in my old life like the life where i had three boys and a husband and no girls and i was all alone in our family and they only watched crazy movies that i didn't like and they played crazy games that i didn't understand and now we have girls and they're gonna play the same crazy games but this time i want to try i want to be involved like take over take back the opportunity to spend time with my daughters we got the horses in the paddock. And it's actually really nice and cool out today. Gorgeous weather. Sam and I are taking this opportunity to head to Costco. Because you guys know Daisy is a Dalmatian and they have to have special diet. And the only food that we could find that she can tolerate, that she can eat, is at Costco. And um, I've heard from like a lot of vets and other people that we deal with about Daisy that um, she has great body condition so we're gonna stick with what's working keep her on the same diet um, apparently Dalmatians can be kind of strung out and be hard keepers and hard to keep weight on them so the fact that she has great body condition and has always had great body condition is is a huge deal for me and I want to continue with that today's a busy day we have a lot of stuff we have to do you guys know it's show week today is the only day we have to do certain things and then tomorrow is our whole week is scheduled you guys like we got plans a lot of plans but I hope you guys took an opportunity to watch Sophie's lesson last night she had a lesson with Brandon at her old lesson barn and she rode a horse and she rode a horse that changed everything for her and I know the comments are off and I know you guys have a lot to say and I miss that like it, it's it's painful for me not to have the comments because there's so many of you guys and I want to say that there's so many of you guys that are amazing and teach me stuff and give me perspective and like it's sad for me not to have that like it's so sad for me and I know the comments are off right now but I want you to know that you've taught me well and last night when Sam and I were watching Sophie ride that horse and she got in she got went right out there grabbed that horse jumped on the horse jumped in a lesson with a group of girls she hardly knew that were all older than her except for one and then she just jumped everything they were two foot verticals and she just jumped them all like it was nothing and she, you guys know what she's like you guys know how she struggles and she just went out there we know that Finn is not the right horse for her and we but sometimes you end up with a horse that's not right for you and you have to make the best of it we are not the kind of family that will buy a horse and love a horse and spend time with a horse and make him our own horse and then just to and then just to sell him 
and I know a lot of people don't agree with that and Sophie is making Finn her own horse and we have plans you guys we have plans to get Finn better and sometimes I can't tell you every single plan that we have I can't tell you all the things that are coming up I can't sit here and explain all the things you just have to trust me that we have a plan for Sophie we have a plan for Finn and that they're gonna come together in the end I know it and we also have a plan for Storm and we have a plan like we have a lot of plans and we're not just sitting and we're moving forward and we're, we're doing all the things you guys you just have to give us time and you have to just be patient with us because everything takes time but for now, let's enjoy today, let's enjoy tomorrow, let's enjoy this crazy week and get us to the show. So Sam is getting, we're going crazy here you guys, like Sam's wearing underwear for the first time in half a year. Lockdown. He's getting two way radios for the horse show so we can be in communication with our trainer and she can tell us what to do. You know how like she's at the show and we're at the trailer and she needs to say like, get ready. And we'll have that. I'm getting so many clothes, you guys. Like, so fun. All right, we're headed home. Actually, we're headed for coffee. <laughs> Sam's having a hot dog. For the first time in four months, we've been able to buy clothes. Like, they actually had clothes here, some shoes here. I bought a pair of shoes. I bought some clothes. I don't know if they're going to fit me. I don't know if I'm going to like them, but I was able to buy them and uh, we went crazy. Do you feel like we went crazy in there? I, I feel like on underwear and I <laughs> he went crazy on underwear. I bought so many pairs of socks. Well, I who knew you couldn't buy underwear, but like who knew you were ever not gonna be like people always use the expression like, what if you got a car crash and you were wearing ugly underwear? Like, who knew you were never gonna be able to buy underwear? Sam bought underwear. I bought a lot of socks, I bought shoes, I bought some clothes. I didn't buy that much stuff for the kids, but whatever. Sometimes that has to happen. Um Sam bought this and I'm so excited about it. It's a two-way radio system and it was gonna work for the horse show you guys. We're gonna charge this up. It's like a little communication system. So when I'm at the... Uh, fan coming your way, hide. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is mean. I love the fans. I love when they come up to us but they never come up to us. They just watch us. They just watch us from afar. Videotape us. Every time we go to a show, what happens is Fiona's stuck at the show. She, we have like five people going to the show. She, she's stuck, and this is going to be good for Trillium. So she's stuck at the field. like at the, She's stuck in the arena, whatever kid is showing. And then she needs the next kid to be saddled up and ready to go. And so she's always like sending people, go tell them they need to get ready. Or else she's looking around trying to find somebody to tell the next people to get ready. Like it's a difficult thing to manage. But this is going to make it easy. This is going to be like, she'll be able to say, hello, hello, time for Gabby to get ready and meet me, blah, blah, blah. And we'll say, okay. And so this is going to save us a lot of running and I'm excited about it. Yeah. So let's go home and get ready because we have more stuff to do for the show. And I also have to spend another morning signing Gabby up for Trillium. I haven't done it yet because I didn't know if it was going to go through. It has to be signed up by Sunday. So I have to go through all that process, which is even more difficult than the last show I had to sign her up for. So yeah, let's do it. So I ended up getting us all water bottles. Gabby got a purple one similar to it. Gabby's. When we go places like to shows and we take a water bottle, it's never enough water. My kids drink like three bottles of water when they're out in the heat competing and working and stuff. And so it's never enough to just bring a water bottle. So we've always just bought like, so we keep a case of water at the barn. We keep a case of water at our barn here and we take water with us. But I figured that for the summer and for lessons, just for lessons, the girls could fill a bottle and take it with them and be responsible for that instead of us having to always go to the barn and get water for them. I got a new rug for the front door, which I'm excited about because her other one was getting really yucky. And I bought some new shoes for me to wear to the show. Because you guys know that I need running shoes and we haven't been able to buy any shoes. So these are like the only choice that I could get there. Um, yeah, they're white and horse poop and white don't go well together, but at least it's something. I also bought a whole stack of clothes, shorts and shirts and more socks. The girls, I bought them a bunch of socks the other day. I got these ones for myself. I guess these are not in style anymore. The socks that you don't see, those are my favorite kind of socks. So these socks are super cool. 
they're Skechers and they have like little things inside them that hold them onto your heel, which I love. I was like, can I have one? I want one. Yeah, there, it came with three walkie talkies. They have light. Give Here, give me one and you go in the other room and talk. Wait. Actually, I should go outside. I should go outside and go as far as I can and see how far we can get away from each other and still here. Hello? Hello? Uh oh. We got nothing. What's happening here? Imagine hearing that at a horse show. <laughs> We're gonna have to turn these babies down. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Me? I can hear all of you. These are super cool. I showed them to Fiona. I showed, sent her a picture and she said one for the warm up ring, one for the trailers and one for the horse show ring, the, sh the show ring. So we have three and we're going to have. How do you send like a message to one person? <laughs> yeah. How do you send a message so only one person hears you? Otherwise everybody. That's what I said. I... <laughs> I know, but I'm asking too. How does it happen? How do you figure it out? You guys got a couple of days to figure this baby out. Anyway, it's time to take the... Oh, this one's on low. It's time to take the horses off the field. I'm down checking the garden while I wait for the girls. And I realize that these walkie-talkies are going to be just as good for at the barn. I'll go down there and I'll see how far it reaches. As at the horse show. I already got mine dirty. To bring one down to the barn with you so I can yell at you. Yeah, that's exactly hey, what has to happen. All right, girlies, it's time. Before I turn the camera on, when I turn the camera on, Penny gets so different. Hi. Hi, princess. She's like, when are you taking off my halter? We've been working on this, you guys. Let's see. Hold on. Ah. Uh, that does not look good. She always does a bad job. Thank you. <laughs> you are, whoops. You're supposed to show them that we've been working on this. I see a pigeon. She loves this though. Every time I bring her in the barn, she asks me, uh oh. I see a pigeon. She's saying, get away from my girl. Usually, usually she asks me. She tells me when she wants me to stay. Oh, she's telling me. Oh, there's a bug in Willow's Mane, get it out. There's a bug in Willow's Mane? It looks like a spider, but it's white and it's weird. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, it's a huge spider. How are we getting that off it of you? Like it has babies oh, in it. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Did it get it? No, it's still there. It looks like it has babies. Willow, I have to get this out of your hair. It looks like it has babies in it. How am I going to get, get it? Your Tell dad, somebody come and get this spider out of Willow's hair. There's a spider. It's huge. <laughs> Man, that's scary. Yes. <laughs> she thinks I'm touching Willow. I don't know. Go look. Penny thinks I'm touching Willow. She only wants touches for her, huh? You only want touches for you. I know, I know. That's her walk talk off, that's very rude. Such a pretty girl. Such a pretty girl. See, this is where it gets dangerous because I have Miss, Miss Bossy Pants here. She likes to have her bum cleaned though. That's a huge deal for her. Did we get the spider out? I don't know. I think I got it out. That thing probably had babies in it. Yeah, it was big. So uh, this weekend, our first horse show of the season, our first big horse show, our first traveling horse show, our first of so many things is supposed to rain all weekend. I know, Dad told me that. So it's good to know though, we'll be packing Did all the stuff. Did you prank Dad and say that the horses are going out? Yeah, oh yeah, we could prank Dad with these walkie dogs. Can you talk? Sophie wants to prank. No, no, no. Sophie wants to prank and tell him that uh, the horses got out. Ow. So we have things planned every single day this week. This is how I arrange when we have a lot of stuff to do. I make an uh, itemized list of all the things that have to get done and we plan it and every day is something new. So today we are cleaning out the horse trailer, making sure it's all good. We're going to clean up out here. I love this thing. Look, I love it. I know it's not fancy and I know it's not perfect, but it's ours and I love it. And we've thought about buying a new one and we've looked at new ones. But this is my favorite kind. This is my favorite kind. So yeah, I love it. This one's the one with the springs. See, it has springs yeah. where it closes. Yeah. The other one I did that as, oh, I swear. And then uh, it just 
kind of crushed me. Yeah, one of them we need new springs. It's almost it time. Slowly falls. It's almost time to get a new trailer. So the girls are gonna clean up the trailer and get it all ready. I'm gonna clean up the garden. This in the morning sucks because in the morning when there's all this mist and stuff, I just got goosebumps. After rains and then you walk on it, you fall. And then when you walk down, just ask Sophia. Oh, look at that big moth. When you ask Sophia, you walk down and then you slide down and you hit the gravel. Yeah, first. I know. I the joys of horse shows, you guys. And I also it's, have to walk up in the- It's true, I get goosebumps right. thinking about it. I get like goosebumps thinking about how we, oh gosh. I hate this part, I can never get this it off. Just leave it there. No, we need to clean up there. We're gonna clean it today. This is today. We have to deal with grumpy dad then. Who cares? So. But I get goosebumps like thinking about all of us getting up at, we're gonna be getting up at 3.30 this mo in the morning for this and we'll be leaving at five. We'll be picking up Kaylee and Kaylee's horse and we will be, it's gonna be crazy. I'll get up at 3 a.m. Everybody's gonna be crying just the way I Wait, like it. but 3 a.m. bad things happen. Why? Because every YouTuber who stays up till like 3 a.m. and stuff for videos and stuff. Oh, that's all fake. It's all but fake. I we'll get up at 4 a.m. I stayed up at 3 a.m. with Kaylee and Gabby, and I was terrified. Gabby says that Sophia never gets to stay up till 3. She always times hey, out at 2 a.m. Before I stayed up till 3. But, so the reason that I plan everything out all the way up to the day is so that the night before the horse show, everything is packed. Clothes, clothes are packed, shoes are packed, tack is packed, everything is ready to go. Did you see the tent Breakfast now? is ready, our lunches are ready. I pack everything, I get you everything eat ready. Eat, so that's so that we can get up at 4 a.m. and get on the road by 5 a.m. Yeah. Can we eat bacon? Gonna, yeah, we'll have bacon. We can have bacon. Um, I'll get up an extra half an hour just to give you bacon. Can give a walkie-talkie oh, to Fiona? Sick. Yeah. At the show? Yeah, we so are. So Fiona can tell us, well, tell Gabby when to tack up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be carrying around a walkie-talkie since I'm gonna be hanging out with Kaylee and Sophia's gonna be hanging out with me and Kaylee. It's all gonna be clean. In there we have like first aid kits, all the extra stuff that we bring. We got bucket. Trailer boots on Finn. Yeah, that you doesn't can fit. I just oh. said that. Finn's too short. He doesn't have. Can we go shopping? Oh, I just got back from shopping. All right, so we also need to put um, shavings and stuff in here for Finny. <sighs> Ruby's looking for Lexi. It's not the same, is it, Ruby? I also just realized that we're gonna have to take uh, rain sheets for all the horses. I'm going to give, be giving you guys a t tour of our trailer. So if you walk in, there's the two stalls for the horses. And there's a hay net and whatever this is called, the short cross type thing, so you can tie your horse up. Same on this side. Um, I chose this one out for Stella, and so it's still mine. Just my horse never uses this. And here we have some hooks to hang our bridles or and our girths and our lead ropes. Here we have some hay, a pitchfork, and the things to put water in. And we have a saddle stand. I don't know where the other saddle stand went. Here's another thing so that thing can go in here because the smallest pony only gets, always gets the, well, the, I don't know what it's called, but the, I don't know what it's called, but yeah. And up here we have our water buckets and all our extra stuff, just in case we need it. Look at that ginormous snake. So for tonight's Does supper, no, it it's cabbage. So for tonight's supper, cool. we are having chicken tacos. I got it at Costco and I'm just gonna warm it up and we're gonna eat it. Good, <laughs> we're eating it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?